Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter. Welcome to your Tennis Now News Update. Well, in the spirit of extending Valentine's Day weekend, we're celebrating tennis's love matches. These are tennis's top five hottest couples who haven't yet taken the trip down the aisle. And we are rooting for them, by the way. Number five, Andy Murray and Kim Sears, a couple that plays together, stays together. Nearly a decade after they met, 27-year-old Murray will wed longtime fiance Kim Sears on April 11th in a private ceremony at the Cromlix House Hotel, which, by the way, he owns near his native Dun Blaine, Scotland. The Five Star Hotel is where his brother Jamie got married back in 2010. Andy was the best man. Kim has long been Andy's biggest supporter. You may recall she was a bit feisty when she shouted a few choice words during Andy's match against Tomas Burdich at the Australian Open semi-final last month. The number four couple on our list, Italians Flavia Panetta and Fabio Fognini, who've been dating since last year. They first showed some strong chemistry playing mixed doubles together at the Hopman Cup. The pair solidified their status as one of tennis's most photogenic couples walking during a romantic trip to the beach last month. Number three, Tomas Burdic and Esther Satarova. Thomas aced his engagement to longtime girlfriend Esther with a romantic beachside proposal. We on the beach at the night time and you know, candles and music and table. So he was really well prepared and uh, I was really, it, it was amazing feeling. And during a visit to Melbourne's Botanical Gardens last month, Burdich admitted he popped the question during the couple's recent holiday. A lot of sun, a lot of, uh, you know, beaches and stuff like that. Our holiday is a little bit even more special. That, uh, we just get engaged there and... Uh... Engaged! Yeah. Ah! Uh... Number two, Rafa Nadal and Maria Pareo. These two grew up together by the sea in their native Mallorca and have grown into a gorgeous couple. Maria is known to tennis fans by her nickname, Sissa. The two often relax after tournament trips, enjoying each other's company on the water. Fans have been rooting for the longtime sweethearts to make it official, but Rafa has suggested in the past that he's not going to get married until his playing days are done. And our top honors go to Maria Sharapova and Grigor Dimitrov. The world number two and her Bulgarian boyfriend sent fans into a frenzy after rumors of their engagement hit Twitter, but neither has confirmed or denied those engagement reports yet. Grigor took the personal touch, making some Valentine's Day treats for his sweetie, Maria seemed to reference the cookie celebration in her Twitter post. In fact, several stars took to Twitter to share their Valentine's Day wishes. Victoria Azarenka struck a pose with a rose. Wimbledon champion Petra Kvitova put a heart on a plate. Caroline Wozniacki delivered the Valentine's Day treats with a surprise in-store appearance for Godiva in New York City. But Garbine Muguruza warned Cupid to stay away while Lucy Safarova reminded us all to savor the essentials in life. Flavia Panetta and Fabio Fognini shared the love with this romantic sunset shot. Well, dancing days are here again for Rafa Nadal and David Ferrer. Heavy rain did not dampen the spirits of the Spaniards who danced their way through one of the most festive parties in the world at the Rio Carnival. Talk about pumping up the party. Imagine running into David and Rafa, as some lucky fans did. The Spanish pair danced the samba in what Rafa called an unforgettable experience. That was a record-setting dancing day for David, by the way, who says he has never danced that much in his life. Defending Rio champion Rafa says the energy from the crowd was contagious and that it was a fantastic day. Well, looks like the king has company after Kay Nishikori rocked Memphis with a historic title performance. Kay beat Kevin Anderson to become the first man to win three consecutive Memphis Open titles. It's the world number five's eighth career title. Nishikori turned it up after that title. Rather than the traditional trophy, he got a custom-made Gibson guitar for his triple crown in Elvis's hometown. Now he says he may have to start taking some guitar lessons. The Memphis double champs weren't wasting any time rocking their title trophies. A legend makes the list of our top shots this week. Kim Kleisters is serving as Antwerp tournament director these days, but the former number one still knows how to make some magic on the court. Check out Kim nearly sends Xavier Melise into the photo pit during this amazing sharp angled exchange in a mixed doubles exhibition.
Novak Djokovic says he thinks the Dubai tournament should be expanded and elevated to a Masters 1000 event. Nole says a lot of the top players agree because it is such a strong event. The world number one knows a little about flying high in Dubai. You may remember last year when Nole and coach Boris Becker were soaring inside this wind tunnel. The wind tunnel is powered by four huge turbine engines and can reach top speeds of over 320 kilometers an hour. It was clear that the world number two was absolutely loving his time in the tunnel. Uh, it's definitely uh, you know, adrenaline rush and... Uh... Very cool. That's all for today's Tennis Now News Update. We'll see you next time.